What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. This year's FarmCon is over and we have seen so many new and exciting pieces of equipment coming with Farming Simulator 22 in just the past few days. Since keeping up with everything across different videos can be a little bit confusing, I wanted to show off every tractor and vehicle that we know about, not only from FarmCon 21, but from every screenshot and tease that we've gotten since Farming Simulator 22 was announced. This video is only going to focus on the tractors and vehicles and not on any equipment, so keep that in mind. With all that being said, let's get right into it. Let's start all the way back in April of this year, where we got the first teaser trailer and screenshots for Farming Simulator 22. The first one was of the New Holland CH770. This is a more medium-sized combine. It's going to be great for those of you that want to utilize a good-sized header paired with a decent grain tank capacity, but not deal with a large machine. Next is the Massey Ferguson 8S. This is a newer tractor from Massey Ferguson and is not too big, but it's not too small either. It was announced back in 2020 and Giant Software were on it, publicizing the heck out of the announcement for this tractor. And little did we know that we would be seeing it only a year later in the game as a featured tractor. One thing to note about this tractor is the wheels. They're very dark in this picture, like the Agco color right now in FS19. This is something important because we get another look at this version later in this video with different wheels. To be fair, New Holland Combines and Massey Ferguson tractors aren't anything new to the Farming Simulator franchise. However, what is new is a Fent Forge Harvester. That's right, the Fent Katana will be coming to FS22 as a base game vehicle shown here in the 650 engine setup. Now, those of you that like to only use one manufacturer can run a full Fent farm from having to use a New Holland Forge Harvester. You don't have to do that anymore. The last vehicle that was officially announced for Farming Simulator 22 in the initial announcement back in April is the John Deere 9R. This is a tractor that is still one of the most requested mods out there, and its reputation for being a fan favorite cannot be emphasized enough. You wanted it, and Giant Software are bringing it. We did not get any more information on new vehicles until June 9th of this year, over a month and a half later from the first announcement of 22. But the wait was well worth it as we got tons of new screenshots and teases, starting with this one of the bakery. Most people would have looked right over this one, but as you can see at the bottom left-hand corner, the John Deere Gator is coming back. It would be nice to see some other UTVs, not just John Deere, but this is the only one that we know about right now. Next is the Manitou MC Forklift. This was in Farm Sim 19, so nothing new here, but it is great to see it coming back. I'm sure lots of you guys are going to be using it. Here we've got one for the red team, the Case IH Magnum 340 AFS. A version of this is one of the most popular Case IH mods in FS19 right now, and it will officially be coming to Farming Simulator 22 as a base game vehicle. It's also pulling a Case IH LB436 square baler in the back, so for those of you interested, yes, Case IH equipment will be coming to Farm Sim 22 as well. Stepping away from the red team and moving to a different kind of green, we have the Fent 900 Vario, shown here in the 930 engine setup. The 900 is such an iconic farming simulator tractor, and no game would be complete without it. This is an updated model as well, so for those of you that want to use this, it's a brand new tractor. Remember when I said that we would see the Massey Ferguson 8S again? Well, here it is, but shown with some different colored wheels. These are what I would call base game gray. I know this is not a huge feature, but I do find it interesting that the wheels have changed on the Masseys, and you can change them up, it looks like anyway. Since this is something that we don't have control over right now in 19, for any base game thing for Massey, I think it's pretty cool. And the last vehicle that was teased with the production chains update is the Zader Crystal, shown here in the 170 HD engine. Zader has been a very underrepresented base game brand past few games, and I know lots of you really love this. It's a beautiful tractor and all of its equipment as well. So this one's for you guys. It would then be another two weeks until we got any more glimpses at new tractors and vehicles coming with Farming Simulator 22. But boy, were we in for a surprise. On June 22nd, Giant Software released the official cinematic trailer and pre-order information for the new game, and the world basically imploded on itself. We got closer looks at things that we were expecting and announcements of more new equipment and new crops that we were not expecting. Farming Simulator fans were completely swept off their feet and in the best way possible. The truck brand Mac was officially announced to be coming with Farming Simulator 22, with the Mac Superliner being the only truck right now that is being confirmed coming with the game. There were some leaks saying that the Mac Black Anthem was coming as a pre-order bonus in the UK, but that still has yet to be confirmed by Giant Software. How's about a new Combine Harvester? How about a new John Deere? How about the largest Combine that they've ever made? 
the John Deere X9 Combine Harvester will be coming to Farming Simulator 22 as a base game combine, and the community has absolutely gone crazy over this one. Obviously, it's one of the most popular combines in the world right now, and the mod by Sid Modding has tons of downloads on Mod Hub. I can't think of any better combine to show off in the cinematic trailer. If you're a Massey Ferguson fan, you are not left out either, because the Massey 5S will be joining its big brother as a base game machine. This was shown in the trailer very prominently and in multiple scenes, so you know this tractor is going to be playing a very popular role on any Massey Ferguson farm once the game is here. As you know, Farming Simulator 22 will be featuring some new crops, those being grapes, olives, and sorghum. Well, in order to harvest the grapes and olives, new harvesting machines needed to be added to the game to accommodate these fruits. And what better machine than the new Holland Broad? We're going to be getting two versions of this machine, the 9070L shown here for grapes and the unshown 9090X for olives. New Holland even helped giants out with the design of the grapes and olives to make them as lifelike and realistic as possible. How cool is that? Here's one that we already have in Farm Sim 19, but I know many of you are going to be happy to see it returning to Farming Simulator 22, the Vent 1100 Barrio, shown here as the 1162. Another thing is all the tracked vehicles have been shown with 3D tracks. So it looks like that all the tracked vehicles in FS22 are going to have 3D tracks. This is not a confirmed feature yet, but we haven't seen anything on the contrary, at least not yet. Rounding out the vehicles that were shown off with the cinematic trailer, we have the Klopp Zarian 4200 Saddle Track, which is the pre-order bonus for pre-ordering the game. This tractor will also come with some slurry equipment from Kueco and is all free when you buy the game early. You could do that now on all platforms, and if you're on PC, you can use the link in the description below, and that does go to help support the channel at no additional cost to you. Right before FarmCon 21, we had one special announcement that was kind of teased, but not by Giants, from Zader. They announced that they will have at least one more tractor coming with Farming Simulator 22, the Zader Futeri HSX 140. This looks to be a smaller tractor and is being shown here doing some stump grinding. Our last section today is all about FarmCon, which is just completed at the time of recording this video. We learned so much about this game, but of course, everyone wants to know about the tractors. What are we getting? How many are there gonna be? Can I paint them pink? So many questions. <laughs> they showed off around 15 machines and tractors, although there were many that we already knew about, and we've already talked about this in video, like the New Holland Combine and the Fit 900. However, there were some that we didn't know about. So let's talk about those. First off, we have to start with the John Deere 7810. This is a classic John Deere from the 90s and is going to fit perfectly on your starting farm or as a yard tractor on your larger farms. It sounds great, it looks great, and if you love green, this is going to be great for you. Secondly, we have the Berthoud Bruin 4200, which is going to be a new self-propelled sprayer in the game and a new brand. Berthoud is a company based out of the UK that specializes in sprayers for fields, vineyards, and orchards. Giants also teased a trailed version of this back at Agritechnica 2019. That's right, we've almost known about this brand for two years and we haven't seen anything. We're probably going to be seeing that trailed version in game as well, although they have not confirmed that yet. Next is the Massey Ferguson 3670. Like the John Deere 7810, this is an older model tractor, small to medium in size. It's going to be perfect starting tractor or a great yard tractor on larger farms. You can even use this on your entire gameplay series and never get tired of it. Maybe that's just me, I love Massey. The only unfortunate part is it wasn't shown off very much at FarmCon, so hopefully we get some new information on it soon. If New Holland Blue isn't your style, we got some great news for those of you that have been looking forward to a new brand. Here we have a Landini, which is confirmed to be coming with base game tractors for Farming Simulator 22. They make a pretty wide range of tractors for working in vineyards, so they're going to be perfect for this. I'm not 100% sure which model this is though, but you can see that it does end in an F. However, after all the research that I did, the version that I found of this tractor doesn't quite look the same that ends in an F, so this may be an older model. I'm just not completely sure. I'm not very familiar with Landini tractors, but do you know what this is? Let me know in the comment section below. However, if New Holland Blue is your style, well, you're good too, because you can see here that the T7 is coming back to FS22, probably to no one's surprise, I'm sure. <laughs> It's a classic farming simulator standard for large tractors, and it's back. Another tractor that is back is the Manitou Telehandler. This is a little bit of a different design than the one that we have right now in Farming Simulator 19, but most brands want their most recent versions of their machines in the game so that they can show everybody what they're doing, and that's probably what we've got here. Either way, 
Fans of Manda Two Tail Handlers will be happy to hear that it's coming back. Continuing the theme of vineyard tractors, we got another one, something brand new, the Fent 200 Vorio, shown here with the 207 engine. This is a smaller tractor used primarily for work in vineyards, for spraying, cutting, tilling up the soil, things like that. It is a very popular tractor for this purpose, and I'm sure will be a very popular tractor for this purpose in game as well. Next to last, we have another vehicle that is going to be making a return to Farming Simulator 22 after being gone for a generation, the Kuhn SPW Feed Mixer. This is most certainly going to find its way onto your cattle farm since it makes making TMR easy, no matter if you're picking it up off the ground or using a silo to mix it from. Even bells are going to work with it. Grab what you need and get the job done. It makes it easy. And lastly, the Fit and Favorite 500. This was shown off during the sound portion of the presentation, but still great to see. This is one of the most popular tractors in Farming Simulator 19, since it uses a pretty powerful tractor engine, at least starting with, with a great top speed as well, and even had a few modified versions on Mod Hub. I love this tractor, and I'm going to love it even more in Farming Simulator 22, and I'm sure you will as well. And that is it. Those are all the tractors and vehicles that have been confirmed so far coming with Farming Simulator 22. Which of these is your favorite, and which one were you really surprised to see on this list? Let me know down in the comment section below. Farming Simulator 22 will be released on Monday, November 22nd, 2021 on PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, as well as Google Stadia. If you're on PC and want to pre-order the game right now, check out the link below and make sure you use the code DJGOHAM. That link goes to help support the channel at no additional cost to you, and 100% of the proceeds from Farming Simulator 22 pre-orders go back into giveaways for the channel, so that if you can't get the game, you're still going to have a chance to get one of the giveaways. I want to make sure that everyone that wants to play this game gets a chance to play it. And also, thank you to everyone who has supported the channel and used that code so far. You guys are rock stars. If you are in the United States, you can pre-order the Collector's Edition right now on PC at Best Buy. I'm going to make sure I leave a link to that in the description so that you can check that out and get the beacon. I want to thank one of my Discord members, Own Insanity, for letting me know about this. You are a legend. For those of you out there, don't worry, I got one coming. Maybe I'll use my beacons now for once. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Goham Fam channel members. Make sure your notification bells are on as well so that you never miss any future Farming Simulator 22 content and daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With all that being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.